So, so Fed is doing the vegan challenge. Our friend, he's not a vegan. He's doing this thing for two weeks. He loves meat. He's giving it all up. He loves you. I said he loves meat. Meat. What did I say? You said you said he loves me. He's giving it all up. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on that I don't know about here? Surprise. Also. I'm so excited for you guys to do the vegan challenge with him. Yeah, there's some people out there doing the vegan challenge as well. Yeah. And. I've been vegan for a while, but I tell you what, some of the pointers that they posted, I learned a thing or two. Yeah. Also, a lot of people were recommending the film Cowspiracy, which we might have to watch ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you're interested. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to do the creepy eyebrows. I don't have any eyebrows. I can't do it <laughs> creepy or not. Anyway, we got a couple updates from the man, Fedge himself. So let's see how he's doing. Day one of my vegan challenge, for the most part, went pretty well. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary in terms of what I had to eat for the day. Um, I made the mistake of not having breakfast, which has nothing to do with being vegan for all about eight hours or not. Just a not a great decision, personally. So I got pretty hungry around 9.30, and I went down to Blue Bottle, which fortunately is a great coffee shop and close to my office, it's just, it's in the basement of my building. But without thinking, I got a granola bar and I read the ingredients and I don't remember exactly, but I'm fairly certain it had honey in it. Before I was vegan and somebody told me that vegans don't eat honey, that was confirmation for me that vegans were insane. Insane? Yeah. In the membrane? But then I, looked up some videos about it, and it's yeah. actually pretty bad. Yeah? Um, yeah, it's cruel, mm -hmm. and it's not good for the bees, it's not good for the environment. But in Fedge's case, I was like, don't sweat it. And a lot of people out there, that's what you said as well in the comments, is if you have like minor slip ups. Yeah, you can. It's not a big deal. You can't give up a whole two week endeavor just because there's one thing. I said, do your best. Just keep on doing it. We're gonna gloss over that one, is literally the first thing, well I had like a you know, a little bit of peanut butter before I left the apartment because I was in a, I was in a rush and I was being stupid. And then I went out to lunch with a friend. We went to a place near my office that has really good vegan options. Actually, uh, I had tofu with some lentils and then I got hungry around about four o'clock. So I talked to one of my friends at the office who is a vegan and asked her for some advice in regards to good vegan snacks. And I had a a cliff bar? Most cliff bars are vegan. Just check the label. Easy way to tell if something is vegan, check the allergy information at the end of the ingredients. It's always in bold. It'll tell you if it contains milk or milk. eggs. Milk or eggs, that's right. Look at you. Look, I shop for you sometimes. Look at her. Right now I'm at home after a few beers, uh, all vegan beer, I guess, having some this is kimchi. Kimchi is vegan. Uh, kimchi is pickled cabbage that is aged and fermented. But all in all, I'd say day one's pretty good. Um, I noticed that sometimes when you have a heavy lunch during the day, something like with a lot of meat or a lot of anything, you get a, a crash after lunch. And I definitely didn't have that today. I came back from lunch and I was productive, which is rare for me because usually after lunch I'm I'm feeling like pretty lethargic. Anyways. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Mm -hmm.